The entire Kenyan primary school curriculum just a few touches away. That's the magic of the so-called Ilumu tablet, which means electronic teacher in Swahili. It's used in this classroom in a poor area of Nairobi, where most kids can't afford to go to well-equipped schools and dropout rates can be up to 40%. Students are at a disadvantage with just a few textbooks available, but Ilimu has changed all that. Like now, I'm learning a topic on parts of a plant, that's in science, in Ilimu getting to know more about the roots, the stems, the branches, the transpiration, and all the activities that take part in a plant. We get to learn more in using the tablets because the books are shallow, you don't get more information. Mm -hmm. The challenge mostly, uh, we had to start involving them and showing them how to use this uh, Elimo app. Now they are used to it, and they are doing it. Uh, they are doing each work with it very well. Ilimu was co-designed by Nivi Mukherjee from Nairobi. The idea came to her while working in slum schools. A lack of materials led to poor motivation among the students, she says. But they were deeply interested in her tablets and phones. Whenever they'd see me interact with the gadgets, that get very involved. I started looking for videos and animations and songs that would help them learn things better. Um, and I just saw what an impact it would do. Rather than loading it up as a textbook and PDF, um, we had animations, videos, and just a constant, um, you know, striving to make that learning process fun and interesting and engaging for the students. Peter Lalo is the founder of the school. He says Ilimu has improved national exam scores. The whole class is coming from 289 going to 300 like the last exam we had now is 300 and hopefully in the final examination we are going to add another point other points on to what we have today as for the children they might be a little closer to fulfilling their dreams i want to become a lecturer a pilot there are now 1,000 students in Kenya using e tablets. The ambitious goal for next year is 10,000 across the country.